Hey guys, I'm hopping on here uh, in the middle of editing this because I forgot to mention something and then I'll pop in and talk about crochet. <laughs> I just want to hop on here real quick because today is April the 7th, I think. <laughs> so it's the last day. If you purchase any stickers for my sister's Etsy shop, I'll link it below. It's always linked below. Um, for each purchase you do, so every sticker, you know, if you buy five, you get five entries to a custom-ish bag from me. Uh, so you have until 11... 59 p.m. tonight to get your purchases in if you're going to purchase any uh, to get entered into that drawing that I'll announce after Easter probably maybe I don't know sometime <laughs> uh, so go do that if you've been waiting or if you forgot go do that so that you can win a custom ish bag a custom by custom ish bag I mean you get to pick whether it's a tote bag or a drawstring bag and then you can kind of pick the prints you know you can tell me what you like and I will try to find something that fits that and um but anyways now i'm gonna like go back to editing and i'm gonna pop in here and talk about crochet and a bunch of other stuff <laughs> so i'll see you guys uh then okay bye hey guys welcome back to no catch your name it's me ella today is what is today today's friday <laughs> uh completely missed whip wednesday again but that's because on wednesday i forgot that it was even wednesday until like 10 o'clock that night when i was talking to one of my friends <laughs> And I was like, oh no, I forgot about that. And then I was going to do it Thursday, and then Thursday flew by, and now it's Friday. <laughs> and it's already Friday evening. Well, it's Friday afternoon, I guess. I don't know. Friday evening, afternoon, same thing. Anyways, I got a little bit of progress on one of my whips to share with you. And then uh, I want to show you uh, one of the drawstring bags. That's going to be the next update. They're not done yet. I'm still, I was working on them. I'm actually sitting here on top of my sewing machine right now. <laughs> um, and so I would record real quick so that I can edit this and get it up later. So I'm recording it while it's still daylight, but it may not come out until that time. But one of the uh, crochet projects that I am actively working on is an amigurumi I'm making for my brother. And it's a Pokemon. It's called Trubbish. I will pop up a picture of what it's going to look like. <laughs> um... <clears throat> It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I thought I could fly through and get it done before this weekend. Because we're having my side of the family dinner uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, but that was not the case. Because when I first got the pattern in the yarn all that, I didn't realize that it was held double. Worsted weight held double. Which I really dislike doing. <laughs> and it just seems slower to me. I'm using a G-hook. Uh, and this particular one is a 4.5 millimeter. And it just seems like it's really slow going. It's really hard on my... Um, whatever this part is called your wrist like it hurts you know the tension and all that so it's been slow going so so far I've only got its body done the main portion of its body so here it is <laughs> looks like a Hershey kiss kind of but green uh, the Pokemon is a trash bag full of garbage <laughs> so I got the bag done I guess but I still got a lot of pieces to do I gotta do his little feet and he's got little uh, they're called ears but it's like the when you tie a trash bag you know the little ends sticking up and then uh, he has arms that are like the trash poking out of the bags. <laughs> and then facial features. Um, <clears throat> so I got a lot to do. I will not have it done by, before tomorrow. I, I, like, I know. <laughs> I know I'm not going to have it done. Uh, because it's just hard for me to work with uh, holding yarn double with a smaller hook. Like I've used bulky weight yarn. And I like using bulky weight yarn sometimes. Like, like a number five. I don't like going any bigger than that. <laughs> But with a bigger hook, it's a lot easier, you know. But this is with, like, a smaller size hook with two strands of yarn. And it's just, it's difficult. So, I only do a little bit at a time. And, uh, so I got the body done. So, I guess that's a bonus. I have not started any of the other body parts yet. Let me pull out the pattern. I printed it off. Uh, next on, in the list, if I go in order, it'll be the ears. So, I'm going to make the ears. The arms, which are out of, like, a tan color. And then the feet. And the arm patches, which are like the little colorful spots. There's two different sizes of those. And then the eyes, the pupils, the teeth. And then you, uh, there's some like stitching that you do to make, to put like a line down the bag. <laughs> so I still got a lot of work to do on that. And it is living in my, one of my first bags I ever made. <laughs> it's a black cat bag. It's like a witch cat. And this is a zipper bag that I made in 2017 when I first started sewing and I messed it up a little bit right there you can see I didn't catch all the fabric in the zipper but it was perfectly fine for me so I've been using it and it's just cute I really like this bag I'd like to start making more like this I just really hate zippers that's why I don't make zipper bags often is because I hate sewing with zippers it's just a pain in the butt so I do have a couple other little um whips that I haven't worked on I have the another Pokemon Amigurumi that is called Togepi that is uh, for the community day that's in April, but uh, I'm I'm gonna finish my, my, the one for my brother first 
before I work on that one. And it's a lot smaller and I think it would be a lot easier just uh, to whip out. And then I have some that I need to start. Uh, the square from Repeat Craft Jimmy, the April square has been released and it's a little lamb. So I need to make that. I need to figure out what I'm making for Halloween for April, the three amigurumis that I want to make for that. And there was something else that I wrote down that I want to work on. But I can't remember now what it was, but I have a list somewhere. But I did also want to show you uh, the first part of my sweater that I'm making in part of a collaboration with some other ladies. And uh, it's Shannon, Olivia, Carrie, and Connie. And it's, uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can remember their names. Okay. It's Connie's Crafty Corner. Carrie Penny is the Happy Crafty Homemaker. <laughs> Olivia. Oh, Lord. Okay. Shannon is Shannon Talks Yarn. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. Something, something with Olivia. <laughs> I can't remember. But they'll be linked down below, so check all them out. We were going to have a video come out this Saturday for our update on our sweater. But uh, we were all procrastinators, or I guess procrastinators. And we didn't work on our sweaters. <laughs> it seems like unanimously. Uh, maybe maybe not everybody, but some of us. And and because of the holiday weekend, we decided to put it off until May. So the next up, the next official update will be May. But I did want to go ahead and show you the part that I already showed in the last video, in case anyone who didn't watch that. So the the sweater that I am making is a free YouTube tutorial, and it's called Easy Crochet Heart Sweater. And I cannot remember the YouTube channel, but I will link it below. Uh, I wasn't prepared <laughs> That's when I started this video, but uh, so I got the whole front panel or back panel, I guess, because they're both the same. <laughs> done for my sweater and I'm using red heart yarns let's see here it is red heart white I don't think it's lavender there's like light orchid and hot no shocking pink and so this is my front one of the panels so I'm going to try to just slowly show it to you it's a really cool pattern it looks kind of hard but it's not I got some ends I gotta weave in I did pretty good weaving all, all of them in until the last part but I think it's really cool looking, and I'm looking forward to it. I did start the second one, but I will show you that in that May video. I think it's May 11th. No, that's 6th, maybe? Because the 7th is my birthday, and it's on a Sunday. It's either the 6th or it's the Saturday after that. It's one of those Saturdays. I have to look back at my list in my email, but I can't remember. Anyways, so that is my sweater so far. It's coming along. I love it. I think it's pretty. I gotta weave in those other ends, but this is the front panel, and then I gotta make the exact same thing for the back panel, and then attach them, and then there's sleeves I gotta do, and then there's like a cuff, what's it called, at the bottom of the sweater, hem? <laughs> um, for the bottom of the sweater, and then also the sleeves have them as well, and I think I have to do something with the collar up here, I can't remember, but it's coming along. I'm using a G-hook as well on this one, and it's the same one actually, it's the 4.5 millimeter G. Uh, and it's really fun. I really like making this. I started the other one and I think I got, I got the pink, the purple, and the white, the first, uh, repeat of the colors done. And then I set it down and was doing stuff and I haven't picked it back up yet. But I got until May to work on it. So I'm trying to take my time on it because, uh, I tend to, when I start sweaters, I tend to make them in like a week. And I finished all this in less than a day, as in 24 hours. I started it on February 11th that evening and I finished this that uh the next day so it was less than 24 hours obviously because i wouldn't sit there and crochet straight <laughs> for that long um so i was looking to be done with it in a few days and i didn't want to rush through it because this uh collaboration is going on through november <laughs> so i wanted something to talk about you know in the other videos but i guess if i do finish this early i could just start another sweater or something but anyways i just wanted to share that with you i'll link it below too if you want to check it out no, the one that I have, like I'm following, is on the YouTube video, but I've seen, since then I've seen that there's other, it's like the same pattern, but it's other people, I don't know, I don't know whose original pattern it is, but, um, I've seen, like, where you can buy written versions of it, and then I just did the video because it was free, and, uh, I felt like I might have needed the video with this because it looks a little complicated, but it's actually pretty easy, uh, it's mostly just all double crochets until you get to like where the shoulders are and at the bottom to square it out there are some other stitches just to um that changes the height you know but yeah it's pretty easy i think i think it's a pretty simple pattern but that is that so i'm with a lot up there so i am wanting to finish up this little trash bag <laughs> but it's so slow because of the stinking 
it's just so tight when I crochet it uh, with the two yarns and then the smaller hook. So it's taking me a lot longer than I originally thought. I thought I was going to be able to pop it out quick because it was amigurumi. If it hadn't been one strand and if I had thought about it, I would have just done it with one strand. It would have just came out smaller. Uh, it would have went a lot quicker. But I already did this much double stranded, so I'm not going to change it now. So he's just going to have to wait a little bit longer to get that. But yeah, so that's all the crochet I've been doing. I do want to work on some more littler things because I like being able to pop out things and feel like I've done something. <laughs> uh, so I might try to start that square, the little M square. In the next day or so and i want to find the halloween uh amigurumi to do for april uh i think i found some that i was wanting to do but anyways today i've been sewing so i i am making uh drawstring bags for the shop health they'll be in, in there sometime next week <laughs> i will put out a video for sure um before to let you guys know i was hoping to get them done this week but we you know just everything's gotten away from me so i wanted to show you um which one should i show you Let's see, I don't guess it matters. Uh, I am boxing the bottoms of these just because I wanted to. I haven't done that in forever, and I thought, what the heck? <laughs> I will do it anyways. And I said, what the hey? I didn't say a bad word. A lot of times I say stuff, and people just assume that I said a bad word. I had an argument in the comments once with a lady about that, and she was like telling me that she heard me say this. And I was like, I, lady, I promise I did not say this. I don't know what you heard, but it was not that. <laughs> and there was like a whole conversation, and it just kept going of her telling me that I said something that I didn't say. But anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Here's the bag. Okay, this is not done at all. See, it's just, it's raw. I gotta um, sew the liners and put them together and do all that stuff. This is just the outside of the bag before it's made into a bag. So those are the drawstring casings. And they will be, they'll be facing up once I get done sewing. <laughs> but, um, anyways. So, let me straighten it out here. Make sure the corners are out. So they're the same exact size as all the drawstring bags I've ever made. Except... The bottoms are boxed, so there's a little bit of a different shape. Is that right? So there's the bag. It's kind of weird when it's not all together. <laughs> and it does have a boxed bottom. Try to show it to you. There you go. So it will sit better, I guess, is why people like boxed bottoms. And when there's something in it, <laughs> it'll sit better. And then when, once it's all together and the drawstrings are pulled, it'll have like that. I wish I had some stuff in there. Maybe I can put this little guy in there. It might be too big. He's pretty big and heavy. Get in there. Trash bag. Okay. Now pretend this is drawstringed shut. <laughs> and finished. <laughs> so, you know, it has more of a... That shape. Instead of like a squared off shape. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But anyways, I'm making a bunch of them. I think there are 20 of them. 19, 20, somewhere around there. There's a bunch of different prints. I just went through my stash and just grabbed a bunch of random things out. And uh, I thought this one was really pretty. I like these colors. It's just so pretty. But anyways, I will um, announce that when... Let me make sure I get these in order because I have them with their liners so I don't get them mixed up. Um, I have them all sitting here. I got all the outer print or parts sewn. And then sandwiched in between all the outers is the liners. So I can keep them all together. And then... I did finish another bag, but this is this is gonna be in the shop. This is for Roseanne, who sent me the dishcloths and face scrubbies. I'm finally getting her bag done. I feel like I took forever to get that done, but uh, I just gotta put the drawstrings in it. But she wanted one with cats on it. And then, oddly enough, the winner from the sticker giveaway, this well, not sticker giveaway, but like where you purchase from my sister's shop, and then I randomly drew a uh, a person. That winter, Holly, she wanted cats too, so I made her tote, which I also got to mail out tomorrow. Let me grab it. I'll just show it to you guys so you can see it. She picked a tote bag, and she also wanted cats and pink. She said something else, but I can't remember. But anyways, this is what I could find. So she got the same print of cats and a tote, and I put pink as the liner and the pocket on the inside because she likes pink. The pocket is in there. Can you see it right there? <laughs> and then I put the, the snap, I put a pink one on there so that it would be the cats and the pink and uh so i gotta ship that out tomorrow and anyone who ordered tote bags they'll be getting shipped out tomorrow because now um i can't go to the post office every single day because i used to when i'd get uh, orders i would package them up that night and drop them off at the post office either that night or the next morning but i can't do that now because Devin is working during the weeks now he works day shift now throughout the week so the only day i can go to the post office is saturdays now unless 
Well, there, he wouldn't be off at work unless it was holiday. Like today he's off, but also the post office is closed today because it's a holiday. And I do not drop my bags off into blue mailboxes anymore because <laughs> I had an incident with one order that got lost. I dropped it off in a blue mailbox and then it never got to the customer. So the customer contacted me and then the post office claimed they never scanned it. So somewhere in between the blue mailbox and the post office, it was lost or stolen because um, there was no history of it being scanned. So now... Every single order I get, I walk it into the post office myself and I watch them scan it and I get the receipts. So I have all my receipts <laughs> so that if anyone ever contacts me in the future and it's like, I didn't get my bag, I can be like, well, I dropped it off here. So now it's between you and the post office. Because once it leaves my hands to the post office person and they scan it, it's the post office's job to get it to you. And if it gets lost from there, you have to take it up with them. That's the point of the insurance that is on the orders, you know, so that they... Um, they will reimburse you or whatever they do. I've never had to do that myself. <laughs> so I don't know what happens. But, uh, so I never drop anything into the blue mailboxes anymore because I don't trust them. <laughs> Ever since that one happened, and it was two tote bags. So it was like a lot of money worth of bags. And it ended up, I ended up having to refund the customer, which was fine. You know, I didn't mind doing that. It's just, um, I knew I dropped it off and the post office claimed I never got it. So I always make sure now that I always walk my little booty in there and I hand them to them and I watch them scan it and then I get the receipt with all of them on it and then I keep that. Because that's my proof that I dropped it off and then that's proof for the customer to go to their post office and be like, look, they scanned it so somebody lost it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's a sidetrack I didn't mean to have. <laughs> but the kids are not here. I don't know if you noticed that. It's very quiet. <laughs> Uh, Devin took them over to his dad's to visit because he knew I needed a break because I was about to like snap and end up on a Discovery Plus episode or something. But uh, so I sewed and then I cooked the rolls for tomorrow for our Easter dinner. I went ahead and cooked them today so that I didn't have to do it in the morning because they take forever to rise. They've been rising since this morning until two and then um, they were risen enough <laughs> to get baked. So I baked them and then I went ahead and made dinner early and then I went ahead and ate because it was like the first time in forever that I got to sit down and eat without <laughs> without Jesse wanting something or June trying to take all my food for me. So it was nice to just like sit and eat and enjoy my food. So they'll have to heat theirs up when they get home. But I got to have it nice and hot and fresh and without anyone trying to steal it. <laughs> so uh yeah and then I watched some Discovery Plus. I'm watching um what is this show called? I think it's called Vengeance and it's something about lovers. I just watch, after I watch one whole series, I just let it go or into some other show. I, I already watched all of, um, See No Evil, which is my favorite. I watched all of Body Cam, which is also really good. It's kind of like, uh, See No Evil. Uh, and then I watched something about, see, I don't even know the names of it, <laughs> but it was like three seasons worth of a show something co-workers it was like when it was about co-workers like killing each other <laughs> and then there were then there's this one about uh it's just like married people or people who are dating all that i think it's called vengeance when lovers kill or something like that um that's a good show i love discovery plus <laughs> it's only eight dollars a month and you can watch all these shows and plus it's got like tlc shows on there which i enjoy watching as well but yeah now i'm just blabbing <laughs> i talked about crochet i talked about sewing and now i'm just talking about life but yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to, we're going to my mom's house to cook dinner there. I got the ham. I'm going to go over in the morning and start cooking it. Well, you know, it's already cooked, but I'm going to heat it through and put that glaze on it. And then I've got mashed potatoes and gravy and the rolls to take. Plus the kids' Easter baskets are behind you. And that bag holder I made my mom. Those bunnies I made the kids are back there. Um... Oh yeah, and June's Easter eggs. Because I bought the egg, special eggs for June. They're little pink bunnies with chocolate in them that she can eat. The two older boys are going to have, uh, you know, whatever. My, my, I bought a bag and my sister bought a bag for them. And she's got the eggs for that. She's going to fill them up for the big boys. And then uh, for the other baby, my sister bought those eggs and put chocolate in there or candy that's suitable for him in there. Um, so that the babies have their own special eggs so that the big boys know not to get those ones that... They're just for the babies. But, uh, and also got the golden egg for my nephew, Jesse. <laughs> we give them both, like, we, we direct them to their own golden eggs so that they each get one. Um, 
it's usually cash that we put in there, but this year I got gift cards for for my nephew. I got him a V Bucks, which is for a game called Fortnite, which I know nothing about. And then for Jesse, I got him um Roll Robux, <laughs> which is for a game he likes to play called Roblox. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. But we're gonna they won't fit in an egg because they're like hard grief cars. So I told my sister, I was like, we'll just hide them somewhere and then give them a hint about where they can find it. Um, so that's going to be fun. But it's also supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll have to put it off. Maybe till Sunday evening. Because Sunday day, we'll be at Devin's dad's house. He's doing egg hunt and dinner and all that. So we're going to be busy this weekend, which I'm sure most of y'all are. Because even people who don't celebrate Easter, you know, still a weekend. So you still going to be busy doing stuff. Uh, we don't necessarily celebrate Easter. We we do the family stuff. You know, it's kind of like Christmas. We don't like celebrate Christmas for Christmas reasons. We celebrate it because it's family stuff, uh, and it's kind of like Thanksgiving. You know, nobody celebrates Thanksgiving because of the pilgrims. <laughs> um, they celebrate it because it's a family dinner, essentially. So yeah. But anyways, we're gonna be busy doing that and playing Pokemon in between, probably. Um, yeah. I don't have any plans to cook in the next few days because I told Devin, I was like, whenever we leave my mom's, we're going to take leftovers. And whenever we leave your dad's, we're going to take leftovers. <laughs> so I don't have to cook anything until midweek next week, probably, because we'll just live off our leftovers <laughs> until then. Um, I think the only thing, and then we have pizza every once a week, usually. So I only have one dinner, I think, written down for next week. And I can't even make that yet because on my grocery pickup order, they wanted to substitute a family pack of chicken breasts for a little pack of the chicken tenders so I didn't take that substitution so we have to go find some chicken breast somewhere um, and then I can make that <laughs> but anyways I'm just blabbing away now hopefully you're crocheting or something while you're listening to me if you've even still here there may not even be anybody here I'm maybe just, just talking to myself <laughs> which is fine but um, I feel like I haven't made a video in forever and I want to make a video every single day but most days I don't have a reason to and I don't want to come on here just to talk just to talk you know so, I did do a little bit of crochet. <laughs> um, I feel like I have another whip. Let's see here. That that other Pokemon whip is actually back behind me, I think. Is it in this bag? I think I put it in this bag. This is a bag that I got from Kim, the Crafty Nomad. And it's a Grinch bag. <laughs> it had a little um, wrist... Uh, bracelet thingy. <laughs> I forget what you could call those, but June has since claimed it. But it's just a cute little zipper bag. I wish I could make bags like these more often because I like bags like these, but I just hate working with zippers. It's like the vein of my existence or whatever that expression is. Yes, this is it. So this is all I got on it so far. <laughs> it's a little Pokemon. It's a little yellow thing. The yellow yarn's laying on my printer and it looks like it's coming out of a cracked egg. So this is the cracked egg part. <laughs> That's all I've gotten so far. But, uh, yeah, and the inside of this bag's got, like, um, what's that called? Bandana. And there's her little tag, I think. Yeah, it says Ebony Pearl. It's her Etsy shop. I'll link that below if I can remember. I'll try to remember. And it's Creations by Kim. It's got a little butterfly on it. I used to have these kinds of, this one's a really nice one. I was asking her, she, that one feels like it's really stuck on there. I bought iron-on ones for a while, but they always felt, I always felt like they would peel off real easy because they were thicker than this one. This one's nice and thin and it's like really good on there. And I've had this for a while and it's been washed because kids. <laughs> and it's still stuck on there. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, I had to buy this bag because it's the Grinch and I absolutely love the Grinch. Yep. <laughs> I'm just blabbing away. Um, this is going to take a while for me to edit too. I feel like I'm just ahead. I, you're sitting on my sewing machine and a box of crowns are holding you up because I didn't want to go get my tripod. <laughs> I was sitting here sewing away. I was sewing liners. Here's one of the ones that I sewed. Um... And I was like, I need to record a video so I can edit it later and get it up. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here blabbing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just miss talking to people sometimes. <laughs> a lot of, you know, as a mom with young kids, it feels like that's all I do is take care of young kids. Um, so it's, it's nice to feel like I'm talking to someone. Even though I'm literally just sitting here staring at myself on a phone. But I know that there's people out there listening to me. <laughs> And I will get comments and I will respond to them and um, I'll feel like I'm having conversations with people that exist and aren't little kids. <laughs> but anyways, I guess I need to go because I'm going to do some more sewing before the kids get home. 
and I got a package up the orders that I got to drop off tomorrow because our post office is only open until 12 on Saturdays. I'm not even sure if they're open tomorrow. I because tomorrow's not part of the religious um you know like today's the religious part and Sunday's the religious part. I don't think they're closed tomorrow, but they could be because this is Tennessee and it's the Bible belt, I guess. So who knows? <laughs> But uh, I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to try to edit this and get it up tonight sometime. My birds are out there. I refilled the feeder. And now there's a bunch of birds out there. Earlier I looked and there was four morning doves and some cardinals. But anyways, I just keep finding more things to talk about. So I'm, I need to go. I'm going to turn on some music and just sew away. And then rest, I guess. <laughs> so I will see you guys hopefully in another video soon. I'm going to try, I want to get back into my routine. I've got a big list. Here I go again, talking again for April for, um, Stitcher libraries, Stitcher stashes, uh, national holidays, all that stuff. But whether or not I do them, we shall see, <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here for real now. Cause it's 25 minutes and I don't know if anyone's even still on here and I'll see you guys on another video. Hopefully. Bye guys.